Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next attack strategy video. This is a quick one on the mass hog strategy. Just gonna be showing a few attacks, talking about the basics of this, because uh, we are seeing people use mass hogs as predicted. Once we knew the 1.5 times damage from the giant bombs would no longer be affecting the hogs, it's just the regular uh, 225 damage at Town Hall 9. So we're talking about the attack strategy today. Real quick, just in case you guys are interested, you can always add me as a friend in the social uh, tab of your um, of your profile now, that new option. I've been accepting every friend request I've gotten so far. A lot of people have sent them, but in case you're interested in sending a friend request, if you want to check up on my base or whatever, uh, you can do so just by searching my player tag, which I'll show at the end of the video. Okay, uh, as far as this video goes today, first also I want to give a quick shout out to my last video, which is on how to set up a double giant bomb set uh, post update and how to use the bomb tower. You know, it, it's it's called how to use the bomb tower, but it talks about giant bombs too. Really, how to defend against the strategy. So check out the last video if you want to know how to defend it. But today we're talking about the attack strategy itself. So. Um, just, just for starters, the things you're taking out before with your mini kill squad, basically just your heroes and a few funneling troops, is going to be the queen and the CC. Now in this base, the CC is much more exposed, uh, very easy to take out, and when there's an exposed queen, that's what you want to look for. I think we'll see people start to, you know, protect their queen a little bit better now that the queen is more valuable again because hogs are popular and really if the queen and the cc troops are down mass hogs can work on a lot of different bases especially ones that aren't set up to defend against uh mass hogs post update um, so until bases adapt this should be a powerful strategy we'll take a look at the attack but yeah basically it's a kill squad coming in taking out the queen taking out the cc troops then a semi-surgical hog deployment and we'll kind of see what that means in just a moment but right here a few baby dragons go down just to take out some trash buildings kind of back up the heroes almost uh, help with the cc troops drops down that poison the king's going in he's doing all the tanking uh, pops the king's ability a little bit late maybe you want to get that king's ability early if it's just him so you get the full effect Effect, but I guess it was okay. Uh, the king's ability is, uh, is he gets most of the ability before the king goes down, uh, takes out everything but the queen, and right here the, uh, the queen will step up. Uh, those barbarians are still tanking. The queen steps up right here. She'll take out the defensive queen. Uh, she'll also get that archer tower before she goes down. So that's all he needs from his heroes. Um, now starts the hogs and I like how he deployed the hogs to protect his queen. That's typically what you want to do. And I apologize for pausing because it annoys people a lot when I pause. I'm sure it's, it's I'm sure it's annoying. But just to make the point, uh, you want to send your hogs in on the same side of, of as your heroes usually because that'll protect your queen. Um, she's very important for cleanup, and she's also good to kind of back um, up your hogs. Maybe take out some defenses while the hogs are tanking. Now look at the semi-surgical deployment. He's going pretty heavy. A lot of hogs are already going into the base right here. But also is saving some because you want your hogs to kind of go across the base in a wave. You don't want them all going over the same path of the base because a well set up double giant bomb set will still kill your hogs if it has a few small bombs or something included. Uh, right there, a kind of a, a, a kind of a double giant bomb set goes off. Not really, doesn't really take out many hogs. Has that next heal and. It's important that you can that you bring all four of those heal spells because if your hogs are moving across the base in a wave, they're going to be spread out. You're going to need to heal probably um, in two different locations at once. So you want to have all four heals if you can. Typically, you should you should try to avoid bringing a jump or a rage or those kind of spells for your kill squad. Try to bring those four heals, and the hogs do group up at the end. But by then, hopefully, there's no double giant bomb spots left up. Right there, it's kind of a um, a one at a time trigger so no no worry there and as we talked about in the last video um, even a double giant bomb set for a hog that's at full health it can't quite take it out there's about uh, 35 hit points left over so if you do see your hogs approaching a double giant bomb set try to heal them as quickly as possible so they enter that double giant bomb set full health and they're getting healed throughout the uh, the encounter let's take a look at another attack um, going down here to 19 uh, we have Nate, and this one, the hog deployment wasn't quite as good in my opinion. Uh, we'll see how it ended up going, but this also demonstrates a very important point about the bomb tower, which kind of plays into my last video about how to, def to defend this, so I'll talk about that as it happens. But once again, sea sealer, a little bit more difficult, but gets the job done. 
um, investment of a, f a giant and a few hogs. Drops down that poison, the king. Uh, Baby dragon is a good way to help out because it can uh, do some damage to the CC troops as well as kind of take out buildings, back up your heroes. Um, that's a good a good troop to throw into the combination along with a few wizards. Uh, so the, the, the queen goes down. The queen, or his own queen, is still up and sends in those hogs to tank for the queen. Uh, you want those troops kind of going in at the same side of the base. Uh, the, the deployment's a little bit heavy on the left side here, and you'll see what I mean in just a moment as the hogs make their way in. He drops in a big group of his own, own hogs plus the CC hogs. So he's dropped in almost all of his hogs, only has seven left. Um, and that's not the best way to do it because... The more grouped up they are, the more likely it is they're all going to kind of die to a double giant bomb set that's well laid out. You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. Um, you can get away with it against certain bases that aren't as well designed post update. But once people start having more, um, start packing more of a punch, let me pause right here for a second. Once people start packing more of a punch, uh, you're going to see your hogs die in certain groups. That's why you want to keep them spread out if you continue to use this strategy. Okay. This is a double giant bomb set between this expo and this bomb tower. And I talked in the last video, why do you want your bomb tower towards the outside of the base? This is a great example. If the bomb tower is where the expo was, these hogs might have died. I'm not, no guarantee, but they might have died. And the reason is, you want the double giant bombs, which are between these two defenses, just to remind you guys, you want those double giant bombs to go off as quick, as simultaneously as possible um, to when the bomb tower explodes. And what's going to happen is the hogs are going to tr trigger the double giant bomb set, then go over to the bomb tower. But by the time the bomb tower goes down and explodes, the hogs are already back up to like three quarters health. Had the bomb tower been where the expo is and the hogs ran across... It probably would have been closer to the trigger of the bombs because it goes bomb tower, then like two seconds later, the, the double giant bomb set. That probably would have killed the hogs, but you'll see here, right there, they go across, they trigger it, but it doesn't quite kill the hogs. They have enough hit points, and then boom, it goes off again, uh, that bomb tower, but they were already back up to two-thirds health or so by then. That's why you want your bomb tower towards the outside of the base because as I talked about, um, the hogs typically work their way from the outside in. So having that bomb tower where the expo was, which is closer to the outside of the base, that means it'll be on the, on the front side of the double giant bomb set, meaning uh, it'll be more likely to kill the hogs. So an important point to make there, especially if you guys watched my last video on how to defend against the mass hogs. But yeah, that'll do it for this uh, attack and for this video. Um, hope this, this helped, a very short video. Didn't have a whole lot of attacks to show, but look for a base where there's double giant bomb set sets that are kind of iffy. There probably might not be any. Um, there's not the best locations for them. And also, probably more importantly, the queen is very exposed, so you don't have to invest a spell or any kind of serious troop space to get in there and take out the queen. Easy CC troops access is important too. You don't want to invest a lot to get the CC troops lured. So those are the important things. And uh, until we see people really start to defend against this and use some of the techniques I talked about in the last video, this can be a powerful strategy. Um, so nice job to both the attackers. Real quick, if you guys want to add me as a friend, I'll go to my profile. Um, Right under my name at the top is my, uh, what is that, the hashtag, whatever, I think it's called the player ID or player tag. So you can search that um, and you can add me as a friend if you're interested. But yeah, that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Hope it helped a little bit and uh, I'll continue to cover the update and the various effects of it, both offense and defensive wise. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.